Actress Shannon Doherty made a poignant appearance on Live with Kelly and Mark on December 6, where she bravely shared her journey battling brain cancer, a diagnosis she received in early 2023. Reflecting on the tumultuous start to the year, she revealed the shocking news of her medical condition, coupled with the heartbreaking dissolution of her 12-year marriage to Kurt Aswari Inko. In April, Doherty disclosed the painful decision to divorce Aswari Inko, acknowledging that it was not her desired outcome. Her publicist, Leslie Sloan, conveyed Doherty's sentiments, emphasizing the heart-wrenching reality of the situation. Launching her new podcast, Let's Be Clear with Shannon Doherty, the actress divulged the heart-wrenching discovery of her husband's two-year affair just before her scheduled surgery. Struggling with feelings of betrayal and disbelief, she navigated the emotional turmoil with the support of her loved ones. Despite her steadfast stance on infidelity, Doherty found herself grappling with conflicting emotions, attributing some responsibility to herself, while also acknowledging the impact of her cancer battle on their relationship dynamics. In a candid moment, Doherty confessed feeling embarrassed by the decision to end her marriage and lamented her perceived inability to sustain lasting relationships. Nevertheless, she remains unwavering in her belief in love, despite the hardships she has endured. Doherty's battle with cancer has been a public journey since her initial diagnosis in 2015, from sharing her treatments to confronting its recurrence as stage 4 breast cancer in 2020. She has consistently shown courage and resilience in the face of adversity. Following Shannon's initial diagnosis, she decided in 2016 to shave her head after treatment made huge clumps of her hair fall out. After my second treatment, my hair was really matted, like in dreadlocks, and I went to try and brush it out, and it just fell out, she told E.T. It was just shedding, and it was driving me crazy. She continued. It was just clumps. My mom grabbed the kitchen scissors and put it in a ponytail, and she just chopped it off. And it was this cute little bob, but it wasn't enough, you know. It was falling out. In August 2016, the Beverly Hills, 90,210 revealed that the cancer had spread to her lymph nodes, and as a result, she had a mastectomy and underwent eight rounds of chemotherapy and radiation. In 2017, she went into remission, and in May 2018, Shannon had reconstructive surgery for her earlier mastectomy. Sadly, sometime in 2019, the cancer returned as metastatic stage 4 breast cancer, meaning it had spread to other parts of her body beyond the original source of the tumor. Then 2021, the actress marked Breast Cancer Awareness Month, by sharing her own personal journey from my first diagnosis to my second. In an Instagram post, she detailed the side effects of chemotherapy while sharing a photo of her with a bloody nose and shaved head. I had many nose bleeds from the chemo. Not sure if any of you experienced this, she wrote. I also was beyond tired. I cheered myself up by putting on Cookie Monster funny pajamas that my friend Christy gave me. Did they actually cheer me up? Yes. Lol. I looked ridiculous, and in that ridiculousness, I was able to laugh at myself. Shannon added, Finding humor helped get me through what seemed impossible. I hope we all find humor in the impossible. During an episode of her Let's Be Clear podcast in January 2024, Shannon made a heartbreaking admission about what she hopes for her funeral. Speaking to her best friend and guest, Chris Cortazzo, who was also the executor of her will. She expressed her desire to keep her funeral free of people she feels don't genuinely care for her. There's a lot of people that I think would show up that I don't want there, she admitted. I don't want people to be crying or people to privately be like. Thank God that expletive is dead now. Shannon finally received some good news in January 2024 after a new infusion treatment plan she has on yielded some miracle results. Speaking to her radiation oncologist, Dr. Amin Murhadi, on her podcast, Shannon revealed that despite a lackluster start, after the sixth or seventh treatment, we really saw it breaking down the blood-brain barrier. Do I call that a miracle? Yeah. For me, that happens to be a miracle right now, she said. 
that I sort of rolled the dice and said, let's keep going. She continued, and that it's actually breaking down that blood-brain barrier is actually a miracle of that drug, a miracle of maybe God intervening and saying, I'm gonna give her a break. Sometimes you're looking for miracles in all the wrong places and they're right in front of your face. She continued, and that it's actually breaking down that blood-brain barrier is actually a miracle of that drug, a miracle of maybe God intervening and saying, I'm gonna give her a break. Sometimes you're looking for miracles in all the wrong places and they're right in front of your face. Thanks to the progress in Shannon's treatment, she remains hopeful as she continues her cancer battle. Every day is a gift and there are so many new things in the works that I think hope is always there. I think it's so important, she said on her podcast. Listen, I can die today. I can die in 20 years, I don't know. I can die walking outside of my house and a tree falling on me or a bus hitting me, whatever. Or I can die of cancer. But all I can do is live each day in as much as a positive manner with hope as I can and embrace it and feel like, wow, I get to wake up again today. What can I do? She added, I believe that positivity that you bring into your life, I think it helps with your whole body. I think that it helps you fight the cancer. Mind over matter a little bit. In conclusion, Shannon Doherty's recent revelations about her battle with brain cancer and the dissolution of her marriage reflect the resilience and vulnerability of the human spirit. Despite facing unimaginable challenges, she continues to navigate her journey with courage and honesty, sharing her experiences with the world. Doherty's openness about her struggles serves as a source of inspiration and strength for others facing similar adversities. As she continues to confront life's uncertainties, her unwavering belief in love, and her determination to overcome obstacles exemplify the power of resilience and hope. The Beverly Hills 90,210 alum is currently on a new infusion treatment plan after revealing in November that her stage 4 breast cancer had metastasized to her bones, just five months after announcing it had spread to her brain. But now, the 52-year-old is feeling positive after her new treatment yielded some miracle results. Speaking to her radiation oncologist, Dr. Amin Murhadi, on the latest episode of her Let's Be Clear podcast, Shannon said, I'm on a new cancer infusion, and after four treatments, we didn't really see a difference, and everybody wanted me to switch. I just kind of was like, we're going to keep going with this and see. And yeah. After the sixth or seventh treatment, we really saw it breaking down the blood-brain barrier. She continued, Do I call that a miracle? Yeah. For me, that happens to be a miracle right now. That I sort of rolled the dice and said, Let's keep going. And that it's actually breaking down that blood-brain barrier is actually a miracle of that drug. A miracle of maybe God intervening and saying, I'm gonna give her a break. She added, Sometimes you're looking for miracles in all the wrong places, and they're right in front of your face. Shannon admitted that seeing some positive results has helped her to remain hopeful as she continues her cancer battle. Every day is a gift, and there are so many new things in the works that I think hope is always there. I think it's so important, she said. Listen, I can die today. I can die in 20 years. I don't know. I can die walking outside of my house and a tree falling on me or a bus hitting me, whatever. Or I can die of cancer. But all I can do is live each day in as much as a positive manner with hope as I can and embrace it and feel like, wow, I get to wake up again today. What can I do?